Hello and welcome to Good News That Actually Is, where three to five sets you free to thrive. Three to five minute encouragements to help your joy by empowering your soul. I am your host, Tim Ashley. Good morning, afternoon, or evening to you, depending on when you're finding the time to tune in. I welcome you today, and I thank you for joining me. It's my aim to encourage you today in the grace Jesus gives and remind you of his marvelous love and faithfulness in some way. You know, in Psalms 139, 14, it says, I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. You know, after speaking of how amazing it is that God created him, the psalmist calls God's works marvelous and claims his soul knows it very well. In in other words, the psalmist is convinced of what he has just proclaimed with regard to being fearfully and wonderfully made by God and that God's works are marvelous. The question is, am I convinced of the same? We've been talking about God's will to heal, and so this verse could seem out of place to some. But I assure you, it is not out of place of all at all. I wish to speak to this idea of how we were made and use it to further substantiate the idea that God likes it when we are well and would never wish us to be sick or diseased. In creating us, God made our human bodies capable of fighting off sickness and disease. Our bodies kick into high gear when they're invaded by a bacteria, a virus, or other intruder that would make us sick. Our bodies have an amazing ability to heal when a bone is broken or we are wounded in some way. Why would a creator build this into a body if he did not wish that we be whole? And why create the highest form of creation itself and make it capable of fighting off such things and healing itself if there's no desire for that creation to be well? Now, I challenge you to add to that the idea that God is now a father to those who come to him in relationship through Jesus Christ. And I further challenge you to add to that idea the testimony of Scripture time and again revealing how much He is for us and not against us. And then finally consider how there is not one single testimony in Scripture that reveals Jesus refused to heal anyone who came to Him for healing. Jesus made it clear. He had come to show us the Father and said, If we had seen Him, we had seen the Father. The way Jesus treated people in need is how the Father wanted them treated. And it revealed the Father's compassion and mercy. Friend, you are loved today and always by your faithful, gracious Heavenly Father. And by coming to His Son Jesus in faith to be forgiven and made alive, you became His child supernaturally. And He is for you, not against you. He can heal you just as easily as He forgives you and made you righteous. It is by the same means. It is a gift and it works on the basis of faith. So I speak healing to you today in his marvelous name. And I declare that he is not only able to heal you, he is willing. Go and have a blessed day today. In his name and always, his grace and peace be with you. Thanks for tuning in today. Never forget that you are loved by a faithful God whose obedient son, Jesus Christ, Willingly died on a cross so that you can live today and always from the abundance of his life in you. Please subscribe and share this with others so that they too can experience the three to five that sets you free to thrive. And be sure to tune in next time to Good News That Actually Is. Please visit us at our website, goodnewsthatactuallyis.com. There you'll find transcripts of the program, video files, and other opportunities. We look forward to visiting with you there and ask you to subscribe. Have a great day.